What the fuck is good, y'all? It's Coffee back again, and I'm back to catch up mode, right? That's where I'm playing catch up, trying to catch up on all the topics and all the ish that I didn't wanted to get out to y'all and hear what the fuck y'all had to say, right? Because that's what it's all about over here. If you're new and you didn't know, now you know. Hit the comments, hire body, because I want to know what y'all thoughts are on these different topics. So it's catch up mode, no delays. Let's get it in. First up, man, um, we talking about that Cointel Pro-ish, right? This has come up more recently, you know what I'm saying? Um, with the whole Hassan Campbell, WAC 100, or as Spider Loke would call him, WAC no 100, right? Um, situation, the leak phone calls, all that. Uh, Big U's been involved as well. He he actually flat out put it out there via a post that, you know, he wasn't about to deal with WAC 100's Cointel Pro-ish during Ramadan. He ain't with that. It's funny, too. You could peep that um, Wack was paying attention to that because I'm drawing a blank right now at the moment like that ish hit rat whack right in the feels because um, who again? I'm drawing a blank, but Wack was addressing someone recently. Oh, J, J Electronica, J Elect. Again, every time I blog on J Electronica, that exhibit C just pops into my mind right that they call me j electronica j elect hanukkah yo again i asked y'all in the last one can someone type them bars out for me how that that whole jump off goes right there just that that segment that part that ish was cold right but in that post um he was telling him like oh you ain't ish uh me and brother ben x chopped it up or whatever fresh out of ramadan and this is how you're behaving like yo stop it whack you brag all the time about all the pork chops and applesauce you eat so stop acting like you observe ramadan or anything to that effect whack 100 or er, big you damn coffee's half in the bag y'all again i'm on ketchup mode but uh big you hit that post to you and it hit right in the fields man and um Again, to those who've been commenting and telling me to check out a particular channel, um, you know, there's there's a lot of ish out there right now that is saying that Wack and Big U is on that Cointel Pro type move, and I don't know. But with that whole narrative and all that in mind and everything, and the fact that Wack 100 is paying attention to that, people are saying that about him, you know, um, and, and then regurgitating it in his own mild disses, right? We got to take a brief moment before we jump into this and just say, because uh, this is pertaining to the basis of what I'm talking about here pertains to a math half of video. And the brief moment that we got to take is just to say what a dope platform math half has so many great interviews. He just got Tretch on there, man. Tretch, who not like Tretch don't get his praises and his flowers. But he needs more of them. He needs them multiplied by a milli, by a billy. Like, Tretch is the truth. Listen, I'm an Eminem fan, but we can't front. People have done pointed it out before. I hope you guys can hear them choppers flowing overhead. They're kind of flowing low and they're kind of loud. But uh, Eminem, you know, who was a student of hip hop is and studied hard and, you know, experimented with different flows and everything to master his flow i mean he changed a lot during the course of his career but the point is is uh eminem is a student of tretch to the fullest but math just had tretch over there he had omar epps which ain't they related tretch and omar and uh, a lot of great content he should he have vlad on there and um man that's a whole question in itself because they were telling vlad yo the stuff that you're conveying to us via this video this interview has uh, us looking at you in a more favorable light, right? Like that, this was what the gentlemen on Math Hoffa's channel were saying. They were saying, yo, us who's here currently at this moment, your culture vulture points decreased 50% after this, right? 
You know what I mean? Because Vlad shared with him how he couldn't hit that windmill and all that. You know what I mean? But he found his windmill. But anyways, uh, he put a blog out or a, a video entitled, When Did Clubhouse Become Gangland? Okay? And let's keep it a buck fifty. There is a lot of craziness and fluckery going down on gangland every day, all day, right? And I constantly point out to y'all how WAC 100, you know, will designate five hours out of his life, out of his daily free time to talk an ish on Clubhouse. And to a guy that's involved in a lot of million dollar deals, it's like, yo, what's good with that why is that so important to you and like i constantly point out to y'all right um you know it's strategic to help him get his voice in the daily news cycle and narratives but on top of that there's maybe could be some more to it and uh, when i'm saying that math hoffa was talking about this you know clubhouse gangland ish i'm not saying this was directed right at whack 100 but peep it he like inadvertently you know, implicated whack 100's cointel pro behavior because a lot of the ish going down on there is people banging sets on each other, you know, repping hoods, talking greasy, like saying, yo, pull up on me, I'm gonna pull up on you, ah, 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 this, that, and the third. And I don't know, I mean, you gotta have seen the Math Hoffa video. If you didn't, I'll pin the link to it below. But um, real talk, like, when did like how did clubhouse become it's so crazy they were speaking about this in their video how clubhouse originally started as a like invite only type deal a lot of people might recall that that's the way facebook started out originally you couldn't just be like yo boom i got a facebook account you had to have an invite it had some ish to do with universities that's a whole nother story but real talk like why is this all going down on clubhouse all this gang activity in is you know because it don't make sense it's not a smart move and something that uh math hoffa and the in individuals that fluck with him on that platform no disrespect I, I i don't recall their names at this current moment and that again is not any disrespect to them because they s seem to be some very very wise gentlemen like they be spitting some real ish like real talk i fluck with the math hoffa channel I done seen the way the subs jumped up. Well, it's well-deserved. It's great, great content. It really is. Comment, y'all. Comment for everyone. Like, you know, throw a some in the comments if you're if you're tapped into the Math Hoffa-ish like that. Like, I just think it's so dope. I love that channel. But something that they were saying is that these cats that are behaving and acting this way are being directed by someone to do this led by someone almost a false og and i mean come on is there anyone currently banging on clubhouse more that that describes more than whack 100 i mean come on y'all and and they they were putting it out there you know the way that the government can triangulate individuals personal uh locations and all the extra ish going down like i'm telling you that clubhouse the way things is shaking and moving on there right now could be a very integral tool for the agents. Oh, that's what they were saying. They were saying the cats that are leading them in this behavior is like a fake ass AG slash low key agent. Sounds like whack 100 to me. They had another interesting take too, where they said, yo, if they went and rounded cats up on some kind of federal indictment, people would still keep banging on clubhouse. All they would have to do the feds, like if those individuals who got bagged up or in custody and it wasn't out there, like it was some kind of confidential ish going down, they could uh, round like just leave their profiles inactive and people would try to revive their rooms and all that and just keep rounding cats up. Like, think about it, y'all. You, you, yo, you got to expand your mind frame and start thinking about ish deeper. Speaking of that agent, though, whack. I 
nuts. R.I.P. Kevin Samuels, as I've been sharing with y'all yesterday, uh, I put a. It's actually my most recent video when it was still up in the air if he was indeed deceased or not. That Twitter was going ham, where like people were just losing their mind, like disrespecting him if he was dead or not, and if he is, people couldn't give a fuck less. Like, and I was sharing with y'all. I, I I aware that he does content about relationships, but I just didn't understand why there was so much hate behind this man. And I see this uh, post here and I think in my head like, OK, uh, I see what kind of content you are making. Um, and I sweet see you're moving with a little bit of swagger and, you know, doing ish like this, like kicked old girl off the chat. Like he said, yo, he said, don't play with me, play with these nuts. I was like, damn, that was a cold move right there. But you got to do ish like that when you're making content. You feel me? Like I'm just a voice. You know, I, I got a, a, a great uh audience who taps in with me and everything but if you want to like be big you want to be a millionaire off this ish or whatever you gots to get extra it out to a degree you know and like that's just the truth of the matter so jump in the comments guys let me know your thoughts about this let me know if you rock with his channel real quick before i move on that's what i wanted to say i just started getting tapped in with his content like just just so you know what do you guys think were you a fan of them? Um, obviously, a lot of people felt offended by some of the ish he did, some of the content that he put out. I don't know. Let's talk about it all below in the comments. Like, comment what you want to tell me as I'm just engaging in the Kevin Samuels content. And, and about his death, too. Ain't that crazy? Ack was talking about he has a source saying Kevin Samuels brought a girl home with him and had i believe a heart attack and fell on top of her that's crazy ain't that crazy to be a relationship guru or however you would want to um refer to his title in the blogosphere and that's the way you die that's nuts b uh one more word about whack 100 before we move on that cat gbo guest and that just seems to like have no levels or no limit to the trolling that he'll do. I, that's a whole nother video. Like I'm not gonna expand too much on what I've seen, the the fluckery that I've seen this dude, um, you know, push in the blogosphere. But there was rumor circulating yesterday that he got killed, and then WAC 100 put out a post talking about Joe, you want your fame? I cannot share that post as it's very graphic, but uh, it's someone getting the break speed off them and getting stripped down and um you know i guess if this is indeed him because i've seen some people comment and saying yo that ain't old boy but if uh it is then i guess he didn't get bodied he just got beat down but i don't know i've always looked at this guy as the new black boy but tap in and comment and let me know uh your thoughts on this again i'm playing catch up so i'm not even tapped into everything uh you know going on in the blogosphere but is he did he get bodied? Is he alive? Is that him? Uh, you know, is he the new black boy? Comment. And then last up on the rundown, this is just a real brief uh, segment here. Keep it real short. Another platform that deals with relationships that I've tapped into here. There we're talking about Fresh and Fit. DJ Academics was a regular uh, guest over there. He flux with them and all that or did. I guess they have some kind of little beef going on or i don't know but um on the king academics channel which is like clips from the academics twitch live streams he shared um something talking about how like one of these guys fresh and fit basically have a girl now and they don't want to let everyone know because the type of ish that they push to their viewers that there's no room for love in it and I just wanted to say, because I, I just wanted to say, because basically academics was saying like that these guys are heavy on the rules and the lifestyle and all that ish that they put out there. And like, you know, more or less the guy got in a relationship and didn't want to look like a hypocrite. So he's hiding things. And I, I think that's the basis of academics and that falling out. But I just wanted to say, um, as I always share with y'all, I've been in a relationship forever. 
if I was ever to not be in a relationship, I'm chilling. But uh, how Ak was saying that, you know, love will make people break every rule that they got. Oh, I'll never do this. Well, I'll never do that. Well, maybe you didn't love old girl enough. Or maybe you've never really been in love like that. Like, I could speak on and on about this. And maybe someday, that's the thing too with the Coffee Talk live streams. We gotta, like, I wanted to do one tonight, but I think it's just too late now. But real talk, comment and let me know if you guys think if this is indeed true on what's going on. Like, if dude just don't want people to know he's got a girl because the, the, the dream that he's selling to people doesn't have room for that. Like, comment and let me know if you've ever experienced that where like love will just make you break every rule you got in the book and your thoughts on this whole dj academics fresh and fit little static they got going on i'm curious to know what y'all think about it but um let me end this video thanks guys again for tuning in it's coffee i'm about here i gotta play catch up hopefully we'll have three more videos up by like 7 a.m you heard I'm about to hear new viewers sub to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Daily content, music, news, sports, and more. And I'm gone.